on the background of the music. It will give us a more neutral way of listen. <laughs> I'm not lazy. You're lazy. I just just want to make the process as straightforward as I can. Let's just get into it and let's see what we think. Let's listen with open ears and an open heart, mm, whatever. Uh, the first EP that, that, that it's on my list, it's called Doom Swayers. Doom Swayers. Um, oh, right, the group is called Lex. Lex, that is important, that is important. Mention the name of the group. Mention the name of the group. And mention the, the name of the release. And um, the year of the release, it, the first beats from 2020. And it's an EP. Let's go track by track, okay? I mean, the first, you know, the first track has like no slow build up. It has a, like a suspenseful, but maybe a little bit hopeful uh, tone with spoken word bits. It's like a more, slightly more optimistic slant, I guess. And since the guitar is more melancholic, that just plain gloomy, and then it just gets, the, the whole EP gets goofy. It's not goofy, but like hu hu humorous. So, yeah, this is going to be an EP about uh, kind of, well, humorous post-punk. Post or whatever whatever you want to call it. I have a friend that said that post-punk at the end of the day was just crowd rock played by punk musicians. And it was just like, what? So it's kind of, if you see like crowd rock, it's like, <laughs> Okay, okay, all right, right, whatever. It doesn't matter right now to the review. Let's let's get into the track. So the whole band starts stretching the song, going like stretching a mass of pizza. No, wait, no, that's stupid. But it's this kind of fun, mathy, post-punk, mathy, math rock. What is going on? Relax. You have done this before. Relax, relax. I don't know why. I just get like, like, like this, like this, like you like. So the second song, yeah, it, it has this spoken word beats with a uh, chill beat, like don't say like. I have been watching um, sometimes when I have to edit my videos. I just say like so much and it makes me sick. I'm trying to avoid that, but it just can it's chaos causing a short circuit in the whole thing. When I say spoken word, it sounds pretty stupid, but if I, if I classify spoken words as the as a genre called spoken word it kind of makes more sense in your head it's no not really anyway it has this spoken word beats with a chill beat and the curse instead of being a curse is this amorphous weird section with weird noisy textures in the guitar well that in 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 like in the no wave genre. I said like, but it was guaranteed this time because no wave does does, does that sort of quack <coughs> fun stuff. The textures, the textures feel so good. The scratch that each of post punky vibe with satirical 
witty lyrics. You know, I actually really like the lyrics. They feel very self-aware. Like the, the first track, the first track says, imagine being, imagine being lectured by pants like ours that do nothing and songwriters that can sing and programmers who can dance. Yeah, I mean, like, fuck. Thing is, I usually don't enjoy satire that much. That's right, I know, I know. Everybody has something to satirize. But when you are, when the thing that you're satirizing is yourself, it feels like we can have an equal level of discussion. So, because if I see myself in yourself, I can reflect the things that I see myself in with yourself, that you are criticizing with yourself. And I can reflect upon my own self and we can learn something about ourselves or something like that. Even the third track, it's almost a full spoken word section. The singer is going who that he can understand any type of music. See, he's like, it's so boring. New jazz, electronica, post-punk, doesn't mean nothing. Festivals all over the world, I hate it. I feel the hate, I like, I feel the hate, the tiredness. There are so many tags around and so much nonsense. And the only thing I want sometimes is just a single connection with someone. I just need something real, not experimental talent real proc in a position punk wave. What the hell what the hell are you talking about? Give me something real. Give me something I can grab myself with. And you know that actually reminded me to a sketch I wrote. It's actually the first video I wrote ever. Yeah, I, I didn't really understand all the lyrics. I, I'm not saying that I did but when I did understand the lyrics they, they were kind of they were fun. And anyway, the fourth track is again more musical, more musically. There is this post punk, art punk, whatever, with that, with those, with those noisy textures. Textures of the guitar feel like moving a key in a keyhole, scratching your brain. It's a slightly noisy, but it has this very cool rhythm. But yeah, I mean, they have something. I have like. Uh, something in my neck when I, there is a texture or a sound or an emotion in a song I like, I get chills on my neck. And at the end of the on the end of the P, at the end of the P, it gets intense. It gets intense. So yeah, that that's a pretty intense EP. I mean, it's like sometimes it feels like if we had Captain Beefheart, but he was depressed. Okay, maybe not. The second EP, in the other hand, is Faster. Faster 2023 EP. Post punk. The second track is more post punk. And the whole song, the whole song has this sadness, this gloom to it. It's bleak, depressing. If it had noiser production, it will probably be tagged as black metal. It's no, for <laughs> for real though. It sounds like like um less noisier black metal thing. So while well, the fourth track feels like a sense of resolve in all the despair, the fifth track is absolute and complete in this relation. Jesus Christ, it's just so bleak, so bleak. Then in the second half, it gets tense. It builds up and builds up. And you feel the emotional charge just trying to explode. But the thing about this song is that it doesn't explode, it just ceases to exist. And in a way that is even more traumatizing than if the song actually exploded. Actually, I actually thought the last track was amazing. It's a um, simple piano at first, like the first track. And it also has this atmosphere around, like Nikoi or something. But the music doesn't feel gloomy or just gloomy, it just feels hurt. I guess when you remove the anger from the despair and the sadness, I can relate more to it because when I feel sad, 
I feel that I don't have the power to do anything. So, yeah, that's a pretty bleak EP. So, well, the first EP is something that I would recommend for people that enjoy stuff like Joy Division and have a nice life and all that post-punk sad boy stuff. The Don't Swear CP, it will be something that I will recommend for like Marky Moon. <laughs> I don't actually know anything about art punk, do I? We are fun, witty, self-aware B and bleak, sad, mentally scary EP. Um, if you really don't like self-aware witty spoken word lyrics, uh, you won't like the Don't Show Your CP and if you don't like sad boy stuff, you won't like faster. And if you're looking at those weird scratchy textures and weird fun rhythms, stretchy rhythms in faster, you aren't going to find them either. It's, it's, it's fun to see different sides of the same coin. So yeah, it's fun to see different sides of emotions with the same sound. I actually haven't decided a rating for Fester. So Doom Sawyer's is black coffee, right? But Fester, what is the opposite of black coffee? <laughs> Prozac, probably. Yeah, Prozac. So my rating for Doom Sawyer's is black coffee for Fester, Prozac. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, well, we have to close the video somehow. Um, actually, I actually I remembered that I, I was I remembered a uh, Johnny Depp movie where I don't remember the name, but he had a top hat, top hat, uh, a top hat. He was like a Johnny Depp with a top hat, and he said Buenos dias estrellitas. Because it was the Spanish dub. I watched it when I was a kid, so it was the Spanish dub. I like the rhythm of that Buenos Dias Estrellitas. So I thought that maybe I could make a closing with that kind of energy. Goodbye, my beautiful souls. I hope you have a really nice day. You see, see, it just it has that rhythm to it. It, it. it just feels right. It just feels right. So, people of the music forums, uh, people of music discussion web pages and uh, social media I hope that you find something that you like goodbye my beautiful souls have a nice day see it just fits it fits it feels right I think we finally got the closing ready but right now we need the, an opening I guess like a greeting. Hmm. We, we can think about the greeting later. We already got the closing and that's fine. We got the closing and that's it. That's 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 what we did today. We got the closing ready. All right, I guess that's it. So I, I hope that you liked everything you like. I hope that you like DP because I like DP. I like the two EPs. Anyway, anyway. I can do it, I can do it, it's just... Anyway, I guess that's it. Goodbye, my beautiful souls. Have a nice day. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed having me to talk with me, I guess. They cannot talk with me. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the EP and you enjoyed uh, spending some time with me. Thank you. Goodbye, my beautiful souls. Have a nice day.